Right now, we'd like to bring in Dr. Marsha McNutt. She is the director of the U.S. Geological Survey. Thanks for being with us here. You're welcome, Kimberly. It's a pleasure to be here. You are responsible for leading the nation's largest earth, water, and biological science and civilian mapping agency to provide data to the decision makers. You're busier than ever these days. Absolutely. The earth never stops giving us plenty of fodder for our science. And more fodder than normal, more tremors, more earthquakes, more activity than say we've seen in the last 30 years? It's been a busy four years, yes, Kimberly. And the reasons for it, I'm sure that's what you're looking at deeply. Well, I think the issue is that we are finding that more and more people are coming into harm's way. Not only are more people coming into harm's way, but that we're finding that there's more energy going into the climate system, so we're finding more intense storms. We're also pushing the envelope more in our quest for more water, for more energy resources. So as we do that, we're finding that there are um, more potential for um, more things to go wrong. Right. Witness the oil spill. And what particular lessons did uh, your agency gather from, from the oil spill? We can't let our technology get ahead of our safety. And specifically, what technology are you talking about in, say, the Gulf oil disaster? Well, I think that there was a certain uh, self-assuredness that was perhaps misplaced that all of the fail-safes we had would indeed work. And in shallower environments where it was easier to intervene in a blowout, those fail-safes were not easy to make sure they were working in the deeper environment. I know there are many lessons, but that was certainly the big one. What about Hurricane Sandy? Lessons take away from what we witnessed there? We had the convergence of a superstorm with a mega city, well, actually uh, a hugely populated area of the American coastline and uh, a population that was um, not very well prepared for a storm of that magnitude. I think that in actual fact, we came through it uh, fairly well in terms of a very low loss of life, but had we had a storm of that magnitude impact a similarly populated area, say, um, Bangladesh. I don't think it would have been that uh, fortunate in terms of the low loss of life. Our coastal defenses are being rendered ineffective through human actions. So has the U.S. Geological Survey's priorities for this year shifted in direct response to what happened uh, with Hurricane Sandy and what we learned from the hurricane? You know, Kimberly, in a, in a sense they have, because in our coastal and marine group, we have an all-hands-on-deck response to this. And in our water resources group, we had an incredible uh, response to uh, understanding uh, how the storm surge moved inland and how it affected the coastal zone. But in another sense, this was just one more in a stream of emergencies that we've seen over the last four years when we look at um, the uh, oil spill, the wildfires, the floods, uh, Hurricane Irene. It's been one event after another. And the um, real challenge with the USGS is to keep our eye on the strategic and not let the emergency du jour take our mind off the fact that we have to also keep our eyes on 
the long-term focus as well. Interesting, so you can't get distracted by you know, the magnitude of the emergency, you have to look at it, study it, learn from it, and get ready for the next one. It's all a game of balance. How concerned are you about rising water levels in New York, New York City? We're very concerned, but I wouldn't say New York is our bullseye right now. Um, we're concerned about New York, and we're concerned about much of the East Coast simply because these are very old cities. Um, New York, uh, Boston, Providence, when a lot of these cities were built, you know, back in the 16, 1700s, when the plans for them were first designed, it was long before sea level was even, and sea level rise were even terms that were in anyone's lexicon. So their infrastructure is not designed for rising seas. This clash of man and nature continues. Dr. Marsha McNutt. Absolutely. With the US Geological Survey, thanks so much for joining You're us. You're welcome, Kimberly.